Kimball, Nathan Farrell. A three-game losing streak for Louisville, trying to snap that. And a week full of rumors surrounding Kenny Payne. Pepperdine coming off a win over UC San Diego. Here he is to the post, reverse laying. Didn't get it to go, stays with it, follows with a bucket. Round in the back, really nice play. Jumper, short corner, it was good. That was Millette in this lineup for Kenny Payne. Back to Hat Huntley Hatfield inside, block shot there. That was Koulibaly, Dan. Well, Koulibaly is an excellent shot blocker, and this is one thing that Louisville has to try to avoid. Free throw shooter as well. Tyler Johnson controlling the rock into the paint, kick out, good look from three, knocked down. He's had, he's, his, his team has had some injuries this year, which has slowed him down. And that is a great job inside. That's why Tyler Johnson is in the game. And saw State and what was his first career start. How about this creation? Wow, this is a great job driving. James already hit one triple that time. Not going to get it to fall. Anderson on the corral. In his last seven plus games, he's got 30 assists and only 13 turnovers. And there is another good play as Louisville is getting the ball inside to the basket. Trey White's second basket, the transfer from USC. He had 10 points on Wednesday night. And the response jumper, there's Ajayi. You can see Pepperdine really would like to push the ball. And that's a great job by Huntley Hatfield to pull that rebound down, limit Pepperdine to one shot. White again, nice feed inside. A little bit early, able to get to the bucket. Well, that's what you do. They've got nine newcomers, and that's what normally November and December is for, is putting things together. The big bodied Huntley Hatfield. Good ball movement. James puts a guy on skates inside the paint, lays it up. It will drop through. That's one of the things that needed to be a better passing team. They're a very poor shooting team, and one of the reasons is they don't pass it very well, and that was not bad defense right they there. They are not a good three-point shooting team. This is where they need to go. Oh, Huntley Hatfield muscles it in. And now a chance to push. They want to fly down the court. All the way to the rim, it's Curtis Williams, an outstanding freshman. Now Huntley Hatfield. James steps into a three and knocks it down. This is very good from Louisville early forces. Against Arkansas State. They've doubled up Pepperdine early on. Koulibaly exited the game pretty quickly. One v one. Oh. No, but the putback by White. Here early, as Kenny Payne said, we've got to play for we and not me. Team basketball, so far so good. How about the reverse lay in? Oh, Ajayi's pretty good ending. Hard to make a shot when you hit the side of the board. White blocked, it's Koulibaly again. He's had at least three blocks. Pepperdine actually shoots it pretty well from out there. And so Louisville, not only have they done a nice job cutting down on dribble penetration, they've really limited the three. Lorenzo Omar did lead them to the postseason where they won the college basketball invitational. Nice put back again. Huntley Hatfield's been active around the rim. Hot on his pivot foot, out to White. White, pump fake Clark, now behind the back. Step back, that's pretty, and he connects. A difficult shot. Not bad defense that time by Pepperdine, but better offense. And there's pretty good offense right there, too. Stays with it. Johnson has it rejected. Woo. And a giant. Right. Great That's a second of play right there. <laughs> James, no. Put back. A lot of questions about how the team would look with Haley Van Lith moving on to LSU. So far, so good. Oh, what about so far, so good? Houston Millette. Millette has nine to lead all scorers. Already a thousand point scorer, just two years into his college career, now in his third. They force the turnover, Waves running, in transition, Ajayi. 
Four straight for Pepperdine. The eighth of the afternoon. Williams, confident looking stroke. Couldn't connect. Another offensive oh. rebound. And how about Emmanuel Okorafor? Mismatch inside if they can find it. Instead, cross court pass leads to an open three, and it's knocked down. Now Pepper and I, I think they've gotten some confidence after those easy baskets in transition. And Anderson, we said he's not a great three point shooter. Got great position down low. He did, and I, I just think he not only has to get great position, but I think for Louisville to be really successful, Huntley Outfield has to be able to score. Millette hits the jumper. He's into double figures. Leads the West Coast Conference in points per game so far this season at 18. Great feed and the slam from Huntley Hatfields. Looking again inside. That one ripped away. Leads to a drive to the bucket and an easy two for more. <laughs> Kindly returned from Koulibaly. But they convert when they're at the line. It has been a big part of their offense. Only five teams in the country get more of their points. Big three from James to stop the run. I wonder if he made one there in that first half. All of a sudden, thinks he's hot. He wants to try another. What a pass inside. And it's more with Louisville shot selection. James got a good look that time, just couldn't connect. Ajayi, Euro step, and Pepperdine as close as they've been in a while. Now, Louisville continues to do a really good job on the defensive boards. Now they have to get a good shot. Got a great shot. The hoop and the horn. Huntley Hatfield to the line by Huntley Hatfield, but a nice job to cut to the basket. Active defense, another turnover. Behind the back, White jams it home. <laughs> it's fine, it's back, but it all works out just fine. And there, again, there's a, an opportunity where the defense collapsed. They didn't let Ajayi get all the way to the basket, and the result as they come down the court and get an easy one themselves. 10-0 run here for the Cardinals. And a really good job securing the defensive rebound. Williams, yes! From way downtown as he falls into the bench. They're 0 for 4 shooting. They've shot contested shots. They've turned it over twice. And that contributed to that 10-0 run. How about that move from Porter? Well, everybody talks about how skilled this young man is, and this is a nice job. Really a... Nice jumper there from Williams, who continues. James. Williams has the hot hands. Have a day, young man. 19-point advantage and 13 for Curtis Williams. And Williams shoots these threes like, with more confidence then maybe a guy who comes in shooting five. He made five threes coming into this game. He's made three in this, in this afternoon's contest. There will be ups and downs. James muscles his way in just too strong. Porter, how about the skill set on this kid? And it's not always easy to be patient. 20 point advantage, nice drive and finish from Anderson. Well, certainly if he plays the way he played tonight, he'll be a candidate for that. Now get going a little too fast right there. Porter, no from the wing. Glenn lays it up and score. Check that. James lays it up. Had a career high 25 points against UMBC in the season opener for Louisville. Did James. Turnover Boy, force. That's really good defense. Here he is. Showtime. 
have been very solid today. Here, Anderson gets inside. James comes to help. The ball's kicked out. Williams is ready for it, and James has already taken off. Well, he didn't get it off the ground right away either. Pitt's program was in a tough way, and Jeff Capel, they gave him enough time to get it going, and it just takes a while sometimes. Oh, what a crossover. Johnson. Ty Art Johnson put him on skates. Art Johnson. Highlight real play, Dan. Well, he gets himself it's a nice job dribbling the ball to get back beyond the three-point line. His second consecutive start of his career and protects the basketball well. Going to be important, as will this kid, Curtis Williams. Eight threes today in 15 attempts. Just take that every game. And one for Ajayi. 27-point advantage here for Louisville. Long jumper goes down. It's Hersey Miller from the Yum Center. One, one of those heralded freshmen. And cut it to seven points. You wondered what Louisville's response would be. Well, their response was to tighten up on the defense. They forced a couple of turnovers. They were on a 10-0 run and put the game out of reach. On the year. And White is a guy we've said before, he's more of a scorer than he is a shooter. And that's just a really nice job. Game on the year with at least six rebounds. That triple is... You know, they had a chance at the end of that game, a very unfortunate turnover. Took away any shot they had and maybe tying it up there at the end. Final few seconds tick off. And Louisville, fifth win of the year, surpasses last season's total. And the largest margin of win under Kenny Payne in his time as the head coach of the Louisville Cardinals.